Happy freaking Earth Day, everyone! And we are playing. Oh, it's April 25th or 22nd. Oh, 25th is actually Cameron Lee's birthday. That's why I thought of that. That's not important. We're talking about Earth, <laughs> Mother Gaia, giver of life, mm. not, you know, giver of sarcastic bitchiness. Giver of death. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, we talked about playing Pikmin during our Luigi's Mansion playthrough for Earth Day. I resisted so hard. But it's a good game. I'm going to give it a chance. Hey, lady, I want you to make the opening for this episode yellow in honor of Birthday. <laughs> we already used white for each. But if you put a birthday cake on there for yourself, I swear to God. I will shake my finger at you a lot. Yeah. I'll be <laughs> wagging this dog You'll go all freaking and... day. She's gonna be like out our people just being staying there all fucking night. She's gonna come like five in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on day one because I've well, never played, yeah, I've never well, no, I'm I'm playing day one because I've never played this game. But I used to speed the run this oh, game. Oh no I did. So I played it very briefly in uh, in, in university before. Like ten years ago I played it and I didn't care much for it. Wanna erase this file? Yeah, you can erase your file, man. Just fucking nuke it. Really? Killer. Well, I know there's other files open, but who cares? It's camera. Suck a dick. <laughs> um, for once. So yeah, hold on. I used to speedrun this game. In fact, Cameron Lady and I used to both be speedrunners. I used to speedrun Pikmin, and Cameron Lady, for a very brief period, held the world record for Metroid Prime. And it's funny when you're speedrunning, you weren't actually running, and you're both fat. I wasn't fat yet when I was speedrunning this game. Really? I speedrun I speed on the GameCube. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Not on the Wii. Right. <laughs> the playing is on the Wii, by the way. The Wii port. Okay. Which has like slightly updated graphics and significantly better controls, in my opinion. Space. The final frontier. Oh, look. It's an explosion of light. Starring Lieutenant Yiff. <laughs> Starring a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi! Oh, shit. I remember, like, this being back 2001, I think these graphics are fucking amazing. Like, Holy shit, this, dude! If this was on a CRT screen, this would be pretty impressive. Oh no! Oh fuck! That you starry know, bit from Mario uh, Galaxy hit him. All the, the entirety of the universe. He had to hit that one rock. It's like the guy <laughs> yeah. in Africa hitting the one tree within 300 miles. Oh shit! Olimar just dies on impact. Well, oh, this is hard. This is this is how our town was made. Really? A giant explosion. Oh yeah. Yeah. We are built in a crater, aren't we? The impact site. It's like high levels of radiation, just like dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this music. This, the game has amazing music. Also, you know what? The graphics are good for 2001. They actually use like like photos for the textures. Yeah. It's kind of cool. You can tell it's, it's definitely a render photo. Mm, I'm over. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my god! What happened? <coughs> My name is... And that's not going to be your fucking Olimar voice. <laughs> what, did, what did Ian and Brandon do their voice for Olimar? I think it was, I think they did like a guy with a lisp. Like, my name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through faith, my... That yeah, doesn't sound right. No, a guy who, who, um, who basically said, uh, all, all, all like the V's and like the, like L's mm -hmm. were like W's. So, so, the, so the, the, oh, the Barry Kripke. So it'd be like, there's, there's an item called the Nova Blaster. They said the Nova Blaster. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like Barry, it's like the Barry Kripke from from Big Bang Theory. Really? Yeah. What my name, mean? my name is Captain Olmar. While traveling okay. through uh, space, don't don't, don't do their fucking voice by a meteor. No, we're not gonna rip them off. My name is Captain Olmar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost. The skeletal holler, my beloved dolphin, is a painful sight. <laughs> the engine is gone. I'm stranded. I figure that's what I'm gonna do. Every time I, I find, you see like an, an, a fucking every, color? Time, every time it's a color, I'm just gonna yeah. use a different voice. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life of support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, 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 better not to think about it. I must find it. Missing the Shashipa parts! See, his translation software's really fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> and here you are, you're playing it. I don't know what the hell it. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so. Walk around and you point. And yeah, trigger is, is the whistle. You tweet. And yeah, the C button is like the disabled pick, but maybe you'll figure that out later. 
You see, yeah, this this game really gives you the sense of how small Oliver is. He's like two inches tall. Oh yeah. That's why I think it's so cool. Oh my lord, what is this? Oh my god. Uh, oh, red. Oh no. A uh, strange thing has appeared before me. I barely began my search when it ran up as if it was waiting for me, and then dropped a single seed. <laughs> Excuse me. What is it? Is it a knife? Is it a machine? It resembles a plant vegetable thing that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. I mean, terrible. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I need to work on this. Yes. Yes. I'll keep, keep exploring for now. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story about this, because th there's, there's a little bit of waiting right here. Um, Pikachu! Yeah, he just kind of grows up a bit. But I'll tell you guys a story after Dave does this terrible fucking voice. See the at the onion. Drop Maybe you should just do it all in one voice because you're fucking gonna you're blow like, your brain out. For me, an adorable sprout. A sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it's calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. <laughs> so I, I told Dave this story. Oh, actually, you know we have to talk about the right now. God damn it, this fucking game. But it's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, unnecessary. You got, a, you got a red Pikmin. Extraordinary! When I pluck this... Wait, 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 wait. Extraordinary. <laughs> Extraordinary! When I pluck this... Splute! It turned out to be a... Living creature. Not a plant. Oh, lizard. Living creature. Not a plant. Breaking has done no visible damage. It just stands there, look, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the peak peak brand carrots. I love so much. I leave my shock a little Pikmin. <laughs> Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, hiding to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it with A. I can throw it in the direction I point, and then I will call it to the side side with B. <laughs> hmm, perhaps it will react to C. And pressing down on the down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, pointing as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. Z! Rotate camera behind Oliver. I don't even need to fucking say the instructions. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. I will survive. I need to prepare myself for these controls and my surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I think of this? This think... game actually is like basically it's, it's Baby's first um, RTS. Like Warcraft or Starcraft or whatever. It really is like an RTS game. That's cool. I like those games. So I, I was surprised you didn't like Pikmin. I didn't have much patience for it at the time. Astonishing! The onion is so much seeds. The small <laughs> red pellet. The Pikmin and the hearts that are coming down a. Oh god, now I'm starting to forget what the hell is which. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> flower as a place of some type of food that propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of. Incubator. <laughs> Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. So yeah, as you throw Pikmin around, they collect items. The Give. the items will grow more Pikmin, and you kind of propagate the species. So I told Dave this recently, and um, what was? What, what, you don't just throw a Pikmin into nowhere. Like you have to fucking come with me, yeah. boy. So, so Dave, uh, I yeah, I told Dave this recently. So Dave is gonna be new. To, it's gonna be old to you, but I. I, uh, I'm telling, I'm telling you guys for the benefit of the audience at home. What are you fucking doing? Just throwing Pikmin. But they're all over there, just sitting there. They're just lounging around. Yeah, bring them back. I kind of, I had this idea for a sitcom. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it would basically be about uh, a guy who decides to um, impress a girl by saying he's like a master chef, and she's like, "Oh, make something for me." He has no idea how to cook, so he goes and like, he like learns how to cook online. Oh, you need. Oh, you have five. Good, good, good enough. Uh, I know how to count that. One, two, three. So he uh, he goes in line. He learns how to make a, like one really good recipe, and he cooks her, cooks for her, and impresses her. And she's like, "That's amazing! You should, can you can you make some more stuff for me?" And like he gets roped into it because he has no idea how to cook. And through his deception, he actually becomes like a, like a four star chef and like opens a restaurant. And like that's how that's how the show would progress. And like all the hijinks that kind of ensue from him and. All the, and like the restaurant and all this shit. The title I came up for it was "Fake It Till You Bake It," <laughs> and that's when Dave like promptly slammed the door on my face. <laughs> you know, I thought about it afterwards. It's 
It's not the worst idea in the world. <laughs> that guy you're freaking lounging around, that asshole. Oh, fucking dick. Well, you, you, you threw that guy away too. Come here. Well, now you have ten Pikmins. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of these guys. I'm gonna bring him over here. There's your damaged ship. My ship! No! Anyways, you can probably like throw two on that to make it go faster. Yeah, things can usually carry like twice their weight. Then, then no more can carry it, but it makes it go faster when you carry it twice. Well, that box takes ten to move it, I guess. Ten to beat it up. Come on, boys. Girls, whatever the hell you are, I don't know. Really I think they're. Like, I don't know if they're genderless or I what. Think, well, dude, plants are probably usually genderless, man. That's no, they, oh yeah, actually, they're, they're oh, both. They're, they're not they, genderless. They're both. Are there any more flowers around that you should probably pick up? What are you doing, just throwing them over there, doing nothing? I'm trying to pick this guy up. Just get in my freaking way, like what a jack and jackass. God, you never actually survive playing this game. I grab him too. No, see, before you go go off into the box land, let's see if there's any more things to pick up. I don't think so. Well, turn around. You, you only look this way the whole time. Like, how about up there? Can't go up there. I can't go up there. Because you have exhausted possibilities then, I think. No, you haven't. There's a, there's a ramp over there. Oh. 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 There's nothing up there. Yeah! <laughs> They're doing it, Dave. They are. Go, my slaves, go! Oh, isn't fuck. that isn't, isn't that poetic? Learning learning more about how to enslave the earth during <laughs> Earth Day. <laughs> like, look, look at that wood texture on the stump. Like that looks amazing. Even yeah. for now. The well, brick runner is curious as <clears throat> that's not the way. <laughs> brick runner is curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. And a glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Yeah, 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 Definitely not human. Amazing! They don't you. My ship's edge of rust before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Well, I don't know. Maybe, um... <laughs> what do you need? At least 20. You need 14. Oh, it's a bunch of yeah, you want them back. You don't want to waste them. Just have them sit there. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna go across the new bridge. Oh, there you go. That's how you're gonna do it. See, it, I don't know how you don't understand the charm of this game, man. Like, you're building up like a base, and you're getting all your dudes, and you're expanding outward. Like, it has that... Oh, what the fuck? You just threw them off into nowhere. It has, it has a very RTS feel, you know? It is now. I guess that's... that's is there more? No, I don't think so. Oh, keep, keep moving the camera. I think there's one uh, there. He's like, oh. Get they're back kind of, to work. They're kind of stupid, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Whoa! Wow, what the fuck was that? Maybe it was just like a like something in the foreground appearing. That was glitchy. Just kind of leaf. That was glitchy as Vegeta. Well, it is a cute game. <laughs> oh, nice throwing. Nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> Yay! Give. When many Pikmin's speeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get out that at once by grabbing a well over. Okay, seriously. Okay. How, how does it feel to know that this guy's married and you're still single, Dave? I don't care. He's like two inches tall. <laughs> My dick's bigger than him. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They'll kind of look up at it when it's like sending things up, don't they? Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? They haven't sprouted yet, man! Give. Wait for them to now get them. Now just press A a bunch and they'll all, they'll all come up. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Stop using the control stick. Just press A. Just press A. And I'll go pick them all up. <laughs> That's kind of sexy. You're kind of bad! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. They're done. There's no more. Just go get all your guys because you lost a whole bunch. <laughs> not. They're all here. I've got my slave count. So this is kind of the point of the, of the game, is that you build up an army of Pikmin, and you have to go find your missing uh, ship parts. And that's the game. 
You have 30 days to find all the ship parts, because... What are you doing? Trying to get these stupid fuck. There's nothing else up there, man. Get your ship part. Wasn't there a wall? Yeah, you oh. can't break it down, though. It's stone. Oh, yeah, I need the, uh, the yellow guys? Yeah. So, the point of the game is to break all the ship parts before your oxygen runs out. Which is, uh, not necessarily easy, but not hard either. I find it funny that there's no oxygen on this planet anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, he, no, he can't breathe oxygen. He breathes something else. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah. I don't know. He breathes, like, silicone. S sil silicone. Yeah, just it's like a Stop liquid. using a tub. It's like, it's like a liquid inside of his helmet there. But um, in Pikmin 2, you're actually finding like ancient. Ammonia. You're like finding ancient relics in Pikmin 2, and in Pikmin 3, you're finding uh, food. You, you find like various juices, and you, they're, they're like you find like um, like fruits, and you, you blend them into juice, so he, and you drink it. He just keeps going back. Is that it? Uh, other stories happen that, that bring people because you, you play as more than all of them in your games. Oh. So you. Means to go back and Did you know that like so he recruits other poor saps to come to this this planet? Kind of yeah. Did you know that vegetables actually have more nitrates than bacon? Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, it actually makes sense because if it's nitrate, it's a nitrogen base. Yeah. Which like, means it's thing, from like, people soils who are like bacon is bad for you because of nitrates. Uh, vegetables have more nitrates than bacon. The problem is is that humans can't actually take in nitrates, but if you take in nit like Oxidants will actually just like like chemically combine with the nitrates in your food and then uh, make them inert. So basically, like if if you're eating like celery, it has way more nitrates than bacon does, but also has even more oxidants. So you eat celery, the nitrates in the celery don't hurt you because it also has oxidants. So if you eat some bacon and then eat a whole bunch of vegetables, the excess nitrates from the bacon because the bacon has no oxidants, the excess nitrates from the bacon is cancelled out by the excess oxidants from the green vegetables. Nutrition with Diva. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna talk. This, this is this is why I eat bacon every day. And I don't fucking not unhealthy because I also fucking eat vegetables. Stop eating bacon and nothing but bacon, you fat fucks. With the help of these Pikmin, I have taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope has begun to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. And now he takes off. Let's go, guys. The fuck? At this point, I'm gonna actually take over in part two because I used to speedrun this game, and I do want to beat Ian's record on BLG of beating this game in 14 days. Fuck that guy. So I wanna, I wanna beat that guy. Fuck him in his beautiful, gorgeous. Let's get out of here. See ya. And they're like, wait for us with the yeah, flying. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't. Shouldn't he, shouldn't he be flying off because there's like he's like so exposed. <laughs> No, it's because there's like carnivorous creatures in the planet at night. No, I know, but he's, like, the the hole the, the hole is completely well, he, breached. He, he just goes up into into the, into the sky. I have somehow managed to lodge the dolphin, but was surprised to see the onion left off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recall it all, I may never return home to my planet for a family. I'm Jesus. playing Hockertate. Hockotate. Yeah. Mm. Hock -tate. That's a Or Hokotate. It sounds like a chemical formula. <laughs> Probably is. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I re repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope, and I'll explore it tomorrow. Yeah, so that's kind of the the, the, the the thing in the game is that you got twenty, you got thirty days, thirty parts. If you get one part a day, you should be okay. You should, you should beat it in time. But it gets harder and harder as you go. Good thing I'm handing it over. Uh, so you, you actually don't want to keep playing? Like, do, do you, your experience of day one is the game enjoyable? Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's actually pretty decent. So you were you were wrong all these years. The past fucking fifteen years of prejudice against Pikmin's. It's not bad. I didn't think it's great. I'm saying it's not bad. All that. All right, well, how, how much I like it will remain to be seen. I, I want to see. Uh, I'm gonna kind of scrape the rust off of my old speedrun skills and see how this goes. So next time. Um... My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I woke on the surface of a weird... Uh, you know I sound like Wallace Shawn? The guy that played Rex in Toy Story? He was here in our town, too. I was, like, basically as close to... Maybe a little further. 
He was like this to me. Yeah. At, at, a, at the local bar. Is that like the closest you've been to celebrity in your life? Uh, no, no. There's been others around. There's a there's a buddy film film industry here now, so there are, there are actors that are showing up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, Natasha Lyon from um, Orange is the New Black is in town. The I, guy I from was Prison one, Break was here. I was once in like a circle jerk of five people where like each of us like grabbed the next guy's dick and jacked it all in the circle. That's what a circle jerk is. Well, no, because yeah. no, usually a circle jerk is when you just jack your own, but you, but you sit in a circle. No, no, that's not a proper one. That's 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 not. It's that doesn't. That's not Mother Earth circle jerk. Okay, so okay. Mother I, Earth I, circle jerk. Da, 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 I was I trademark would, Debo. I I was once in a Mother Earth circle jerk, and like three guys down from me was Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did you go in? Uh, was this nine eleven? Did you go? Did you go to? Did you throw some fires afterwards? Is that or was that after the fires were put out? That's how you unwind. Jack each other off. 